Hi fellow geography and QGIS enthusiasts, it's Nicole Aleph from Adisoft. In my previous video I showed you how to prepare QGIS for analyzing the historical urbanization of a village, in this case buildings where they appeared and where they were demolished. But uh, as I was filming it, I realized that Google's historical data was mismatched, misaligned. You can notice that uh, in this village, for instance. Let's see, we load the most recent one and I will show you the difference. Let's place a place mark at uh, an object that is clearly not being demolished throughout the years. And I will mark it with uh, this arrow. And uh, the scale, I will reduce it a little bit. 0 0.8. Opacity will be like that. And color, I will choose something more obvious. Okay. And that will be reference. Right. I even, I won't show it to be easier to check it. Let's place it exactly where the roof edges meet. Okay. And you will see clearly how they're more and more misaligned. For instance, this, this uh, distance here, let's measure it. From here to here is about half me half a meter, not not that much. But let's see another images. See, it goes to the right. Now it's better. It goes to the south again. South. This is foggy, and you can see that it moves around. This is even more drastical. <laughs> this is. Uh, about a meter or more, at least a meter. Let's see. It doesn't seem so so little. Very interesting. For me, this is at least, uh, judging by the size of the house, this is at least six meters. All right, let's close this. And uh, let's see other images. You can see that the house is misrepresented. I presume that the old image uh, here it disappears. So this is a new house. It appeared between 2006 and 2009. But you can see the di difference. Sometimes it goes uh, like 6 meters to the left and then it goes 6 meters to the right. So in all in all this is a big uh, statistical difference between the satellite images. So, we want to align some, the maps uh, according to the most recent one. Let's load the most recent one. And I will obviously use one of these points as reference. And uh, let's see where the map, uh, which map is misrepresented. You can see for instance that this map is slightly off. Alright, to check the map alignment I will use several points. I will draw a path, add a path, and uh, I will choose a style that is uh, white. Okay. And now let's uh, draw the path. Add a path. Okay. And now let's use objects that won't move. Let's see if this hill here is moving. It is not appearing here. I'm searching for objects that are as close to a boundary as possible. Good objects will be houses. Let's close this. Good objects will be houses that are not moving. Like for instance, let's use one of these houses. Let's see 2006 and 2020. I will use a point from 2020 here. Now, 
another point I will use let's see if this house is moving yes it is moving but it is still there so I will use where the roof edges meet the point where they meet now this building obviously is not demolished throughout the years so I will use the bottom corner of it this now let's see if any houses here are moving yes I see that this house is constant so I use again where the roof intersection is this point and let's add another point to finish the boundary let's add a point around here So let's see, I think this house is constant, no it is still being built, but I can use a point on it for sure, or even this house, yes I will use this house and choose the point where the roof intersection is. So this is the path which will align our village and the points in it so let's save it and I will export it save places I will export it as path for alignment all right let's load it in QGIS let's load it in the 00, zero folder this one of open and let's move it up right and now if I have done my georeferencing correctly let's choose a little bit more obvious reference and now I will turn off all layers only the Google and the path and let's check you can see it goes here to the rooftop it goes here to the bottom right everything is aligned as I expected and now I will georeference the other images based on these points so let's show you how to do it for one year where they are misaligned let's see 2006 they are very there is a very big gap. I, I will measure it here and you will see that what I am talking about. This is about 15 meters. As I expected, the Google Earth measurement is not exactly right. This is much bigger misalignment that, than Google Earth shows. And now let's set the snapping to this layer, the path I drew. Uh, where it is? Yes, here. And I will say 50 pixels apply okay and uh, let's uh, delete the snapping from the other layer this one apply okay and now let's uh, delete all the other Google Earth images let's use only this for reference and now I will go to raster georeferencer open the image I want to reference 2006 and I will load uh, Google Earth on my other monitor to see which points I am searching for now first will be the point where they meet this point will go here okay the next point was on this house Again, because of the resolution, I cannot be that accurate, but still, I won't miss by much. The next point was here, and it goes here, okay. The next point was on the house in the north end of the village, 
it was let's see yes it was this house and this point goes goes here okay and let's see the final point was oops the final point was in the west end of the village let's see which house was it yes i think it was this one yes i'm sure this one because of the roof configuration and it goes here okay and we have five points which is more than enough to properly georeference the image now finally i will choose the location so I will copy the folder, paste it here and override this one. Replace, okay, loading QGIS, okay, and georeference. Fine, let's uh, close this. Or even we can uh, save the points for use later. Let's use 2006 points save and close to see the result so if I hide 2020 you see that they're very much aligned I will load the other corner as well Yes, very small difference. The difference is no more than 2 meters at most. And this will allow us to easily analyze the data later. So in my other tutorial, which you will see in the info card, I didn't do the alignment, just to show you how to do it uh, in separate video. And uh, it can be very useful when you want to analyze even bigger data. For instance, not a village, but a city or a municipality. This is very important because if uh, on a small scale the difference is 15 meters, on a bigger scale it can be even more and uh, the rotation can be more. So, thanks for watching. It's Nicole Ale from Adisel signing off and wishing you inspiration in your practice. Don't forget to check uh, the other parts of this tutorial when we analyze the urban data and uh, if uh, the information was useful for you, like, comment and subscribe to my channel for more interesting GIS information and uh, audiobooks about architecture. Be healthy and see you in the next video.